Alright everyone, this tiny little creature is getting a new home. We all remember Pimp My Ride. Well this is Pimp My Terrarium, New Zealand edition. I'm transforming this tiny Japanese 5 billion newts old crib into a 5 star amphibian resort. All inclusive to buffet, spa, room service and land based fun. But first, let's meet this tiny amphibian. Meet Calvin. Calvin has been living in this, let's call it a basic bee terrarium for quite a while. It's time for a change. Calvin needs a place that screams luxury, comfort, and the right environment perfectly balanced with bugs, snails, and other roomies. So let's get started. I'm Max. Ever since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with ectotherms, and 15 years later, nothing has changed. Today we're turning Calvin's home from drab to fab. First up, let's take a look at what we're working with. Wow. Nah, it's not that bad. What you might not know about reptile keepers is that we are never truly satisfied with our enclosures, always having to remake them. Let's talk about Calvin though. Calvin is a Japanese fire blood newt, as I said at the beginning. Now these newts hail from Japan, but how did Calvin get here? Did he swim here? I very much doubt it. Well, I live in New Zealand, an epic country at the bottom of the world that is home to some fantastic beasts. New Zealand has a very small pool of exotic pets and Calvin is one of them. Now Calvin started off as a tiny egg and his journey was absolutely epic and all I needed was one egg, not hundreds. As he hatched, he grew and grew. He finally turned into his final terrestrial morph self. But he won't always stay this size. You see, Calvin will grow into a Godzilla looking warty fantastic aquatic beast that will terrorize small aquatic invertebrae in about 2-3 years time. Japanese fire bellied newts hatch in the water and look like tiny axolotls from what you saw. They morph into a tiny terrestrial being and will spend about 2-3 years on land before they venture back to where the life cycle began. Now Kelvin eats worms and other small bugs. I usually give him white worms or bud worms and try some other small bugs when available like fruit flies. Now it's important to know about Kelvin and the background of these amazing animals before we crack into it. Step 1. We need a solid plan. It's time to brainstorm. I had to draw exactly what I wanted, or at least what I thought I wanted. Now we're going all out here. Kelvin is going to have a waterfall, some plants, a cozy hideout, and even a little lake. This is going to be the Ritz Carlton of terrariums, but on a budget of course, so I went to Timu to get this. Now this pump will be the main filtration system that will work the epic waterfall to come. The rest will be scraps from the old terrarium and some new bits and bobs. So, I'm on a mission. No stone unturned, no plant unpicked, well, maybe some plants unpicked. This was stressful man, I wanted to create something I was proud of. So, first things first, cleaning out the old terrarium. But, Calvin, you need to get out of there. Calvin, you're going on a little vacation while we work some magic. Calvin is off to the spa, look at this cutie, honestly. Now let's get to work. This next part, no talking.
well there you have it. We've got the new hardscape in, the moss is in place, and the waterfall works. This is dope. It's actually dope. I've also added another important element, the cleanup crew. These tiny little aquatic snails will help keep things clean by eating waste and other decaying matter. There are also some additional roomies. Small isopods. They will explore. They will also keep the land clean and healthy. Calvin is going to love this. Let's bring the little dude back. Well, here it is, and I hope he likes it. Look at Calvin Explore, finally on the house market. This dude is living the dream, but as he's part of this new generation, he'll probably be ungrateful and demand a flat screen in there. <laughs> now don't worry about Calvin falling into the water. There are plenty of elements for him to climb onto, grab onto, and climb out safely. And maybe his new roommates will help out too. I love this new transformation. I tried to replicate something close to the wild in his natural habitat where fire-bellied newts hang around slow moving bodies of water, lots of stones and areas to hide. A small taste of the wild. This paludarium did not take me that long and I owe it to Calvin. He's my little dude. I'm now gonna give you a glimpse into my world. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you like what I'm doing, that's dope. Until next time, stay tuned.